maybe in your journeys as a planner, you've seen diagrams like this, the, the cost influence curve related to change requests, the timing of change requests. Maybe you've also seen a flow chart like this that describes the journey of a change order in getting to the approval process. Well, those are things I don't want to focus on in this course at all. What I want to focus on is more nuts and bolts scheduling and managing the schedule change process when it comes to Primavera P6 schedules, managing the different versions, new baselines, all of that good stuff. That's what we want to focus on here for you. So let me take you through a simplified change request process as I see it from a scheduler's perspective. Now, here we go. We have our baseline, baseline A. We're going through our progressing process each month, developing a new progress schedule, 01, 02, 03. In month three, we as the contractor are issuing a change request to the owner. We have a change request. So in order to create that change request, we as schedulers need to go and add some activities or build that change request in the latest update schedule. So boom, we grab a copy of update 03. We add in the changes on the right hand side of the data date that we think are going to, uh, that are going to implement that change request and then we go and submit it. Now you know the owner is going to take some time to review that and the show must go on. So we are going to continue to progress using same baseline, baseline A, and progress for month four, progress for month five. Now, let's say in month five, our change request is approved. That's right, owner says you can do it, all's good. This is where things get a little bit tricky. This invokes a re-baselining process for us. We now need to get the change data into our baseline schedule. So how do we go through that rebaselining process? Well, this is how I think it should go down. Number one, we should take the current update schedule. So we should take update schedule 05 and use that as the foundation for our new baseline. But then we should also get the change request fragments, right? And grab those from this change request schedule that got approved and also include that into the baseline schedule. We re-baseline that and that becomes our baseline B. So we combine those two baseline B. And now with a re-baseline, we can continue moving forward into our scheduling process doing 06, 07. The thing I wanna point out to you here is the complexity of all this, right? Like we have multiple update schedules. We are now adding a new baseline which is a, an amalgamation of some of those update schedules and this other superfluous uh, change report schedule that we have to merge all this together and make it still work and make it still hit our end dates and make sense for all of the costs to still link up to the total cost. So there's a lot of detail and a lot of process that goes into change requests from the scheduler's perspective. And these are some of the things that I wanna talk about in the course, in, in this module. How do we make all this happen? How do we re-baseline? How do we merge stuff together? What are some best practices? What are some of the tools in P6? If you got a lot of value here, please like the video, it helps us out a lot. Any comments, questions, other things you wanna see, leave us a comment below. Make sure you check out planacademy.com where we have a ton of other resources for users of Primavera P6, including our all-encompassing training courses. And if you want, check out these other videos. They're all really excellent. I'll see you again soon.